How's it going? My name's Josh, and here's your tech tip of the week. Today we're talking about disc brake pads. Um, this, what we're talking about today will work well with road bikes or mountain bikes. Um, SRAM, Shimano, Tektro, Magura, uh, a lot of these brakes will use the same type of system to, as far as the indicator goes and where. Um, most disc brake systems will have your pad itself like this. And then there'll also be a little retainer spring or return spring. This is what kind of creates some tension to get the pads back into the piston and keeps your pads from rattling inside the brake while you're riding. Uh, this is also an indicator. This spring or the thickness of this spring, um, once you get down to where there is only this much thickness left on the brake pad, you will actually physically hear this rubbing against your rotor. Um, if this gets to the point where you do hear this metal spring rubbing against the rotor, um, your pads are severely worn out and most likely needing more than just a pad, you're probably going to need a rotor also. Um, so try not to ever let the thickness or the meat of that pad material get down to the same thickness of this spring. You can see on this setup right here, for this customer when it's all put together here, there's hardly any meat left between the spring and that pad. Uh, this guy was just about due, but perfect. He used 90% of his pad, um, and he's due for a new set. You'll see on a brand new set of pads, right here, how much thicker it is. Um, you can also see when I put the spring on, there's tons more meat of pad above that spring. Again, uh, Shimano, SRAM, most brands will use a system with an indicator like this on here. And uh, this is a good way of knowing how worn out your pads are. You can also look, uh, if you have a good eye, get a flashlight out. You can actually just look through the top of your bike right down through here. And you can kind of tell how much meat is left between the spring and the pad down inside there. Again, if you see that um, pad less than a millimeter away from that spring, you're due for some new pads. So uh, this is something I like to check on my bike every couple, two, two weeks or so. Um, <clears throat> pad wear can vary from ride to ride. If you go on a really muddy ride, conditions really wet, you could go through half your life's pad versus down in the southern desert on a warm day, you hardly use any pad at all. Um, again, it's just conditions, it's variable. Uh, some people can go 100 miles, some people might go 1,000 miles. So again, it just depends on where you're riding and what kind of conditions you're riding in. Uh, I like to check these every couple weeks though. Uh, that's your tech tip of the week. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.